Hi, welcome to my channel. This is Kauser Wise and this is the continuation video of ratio analysis. See, in the previous video, we have calculated return on investment, return on shareholders funds and return on equity shareholders fund and return on total assets. Okay, the link is available in the description box. Now, in this video, we are going to learn the remaining profitability ratios that is earning per share, price earning ratio, payout ratio, retained earnings ratio, dividend yield ratio and interest cover ratio. Okay. Now let's get into the video. See the problem. ABC company's financial statement contains the following information. Cash, sundry creditors, investment, stock, prepaid expenses. So total current assets and then total asset. So this total asset consists of total current asset plus total fixed asset is equal to total asset and then current liabilities 10 percentage debentures equity share capital rupees 10 per share and then 10 percentage preference share capital and then retained earnings okay now see the income statement statement of profit for the year ended june 30th okay sales minus cost of goods sold minus interest is equal to net profit okay and minus taxes 50 percentage you will be getting profit after tax so this is the income statement they have given some information from the balance sheet as well as they have given the income statement now see the adjustments dividend declared on equity shares 220000 and market price of equity shares rupees 40 Okay, so these are the informations given in the problem. So far we have calculated four ratios based on returns in the previous video. Now we are going to calculate the remaining ratios. Number one, EPS. EPS stands for earning per share. See the formula for earning per share. That is net profit after tax and after preferential dividend divided by number of equity shares. Okay, see earning per share is equal to profit available to equity shareholders so how to calculate profit profit after interest and after tax the remaining profit is available to shareholders okay in the capital structure if there is any preferential shareholder then you have to subtract preferential dividend then you will be getting the residual profit that profit is available to equity shareholders okay so again i repeat net profit after tax and preferential dividend the remaining profit is called profit available to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares you will be getting earnings per share see the calculation see the problem so this is the profit after interest and after tax how much five lakh twenty thousand okay but in our problem we have preferential share capital how much 10 percentage dividend you have to declare no so 10 percentage on 5 lakhs 50,000 so subtract the dividend preferential dividend from profit after tax then you will be getting net profit after tax and after preferential dividend so that is the profit available to equity shareholders and divided by number of equity shares okay see the balance sheet equity share capital 15 lakhs no each share how much 10 rupees 15 lakhs divided by 10 you will be getting number of shares issued that is number of equity shares issued so 15 lakhs divided by 10 1 lakh 50 thousand that is the number of equity shares now we can apply the formula to find out the eps earning per share see the calculation eps that is earning per share is equal to net profit after tax and preferential dividend divided by number of equity shares so net profit after tax how much 5 lakh 20 minus preferential dividend how much 50000 that is 10 percentage on 5 lakhs 50000 divided by number of equity shares so how to calculate number of equity shares total equity share capital divided by each share price that is 15 lakhs divided by 10 rupees each no you will be getting 1 lakh 50000 as number of equity shares then you will be getting rupees 3.1 per share. This is EPS, earning per share. Okay. Now, see the problem. The next one is 
P ratio. P stands for price earning ratio. Okay. See the formula. See the formula for price earning ratio. That is market price per equity shares divided by earning per equity shares. Okay. In the previous calculation, we have calculated earning per share EPS. So that you can apply here with market price per equity share. So this market price is given in the problem. Look at the problem. See in the adjustment they have given market price of equity shares rupees 40 okay now see the calculation price earning ratio is equal to market price per equity shares divided by eps so market price per equity share is given in the problem how much 40 rupees divided by eps see the previous calculation 3.1 per share so divided by 3.1 you will be getting 12.9 times so this is the price earning ratio Okay, see the problem. So far we have calculated EPS and PE ratio. The next one, payout ratio. See the formula for payout ratio. The payout ratio is equal to equity dividend. That is how much equity we have declared to equity shareholders. Okay, so equity dividend divided by net profit after tax and preferential dividend. Okay, so this is the profit available to equity shareholders in that how much equity actually declared to equity shareholders so that is a combination is called payout ratio again i repeat equity dividend declared to equity shareholders divided by net profit available to equity shareholders so how to calculate net profit available to equity shareholders net profit after tax and preference dividend okay into 100 see the calculation see the problem in the adjustment they have given Dividend declared on equity shares, how much? 2,20,000. Okay, so this is the actual dividend declared to equity shareholders. 2,20,000 divided by profit available to equity shareholders. So how to calculate? Net profit after tax minus preferential dividend. So here we have preference share capital, no? 10%. So 10% on 5 lakhs, 50,000. So subtract 50,000 dividend from Profit after tax 5 lakh 20, you will be getting profit available to equity shareholders. Okay, see the calculation. Payout ratio is equal to equity dividends divided by net profit after tax and preferential dividend into 100. So, equity dividend given in the problem 2 lakh 20,000 divided by net profit after tax 5 lakh 20 and preferential dividend 50,000. Okay, into 100. So, 2 lakh 20 divided by 4,70 into 100, 46.8 percentage. So, this is the payout ratio. Okay. See the problem. We have calculated EPS, P ratio and payout ratio. Now, we will move on to the next one. Retained earnings ratio. See the formula. See the formula for retained earnings ratio. Okay. So, this is the formula. Retained earnings divided by net profit after tax and preferential dividend into 100. So, what is retained earnings? So, retained earnings means out of current year profit, that is after tax, the entire amount is belongs to shareholders. Okay. In the capital structure, if there is any preferential share capital, first you have to declare preferential dividend to them, that is preferential shareholders. So, subtract preferential dividend from net profit after tax. Okay. Then you will be getting profit available to equity shareholders and just see the problem if there is any dividend declared to equity shareholders in that case just subtract that amount also then you will be getting retained earnings from the current year profit already in the balance sheet we have retained earnings that is the accumulated one okay so every year we'll have some amount after declaring dividend the rest of the amount they will maintain. Okay, it's an internal fund. In that case, uh, you here you have to calculate retained earnings of the current year. Okay, for that, uh, you have to take the current year net profit after tax minus preferential dividend. Again, minus any dividend to equity shareholders. In our problem, we have equity dividend declared. How much? 2,20,000. No, subtract that amount. Then you will be getting the residual amount. That amount is called retained earnings. Okay. Divided by 
net profit after tax and preferential dividend. Okay, this we have calculated in the previous formula. No, the same thing you can take it here into 100. See the problem. First, we need to find out the retained earnings. That is current year retained earnings. For that, just take the current year net profit after tax. Okay, and then subtract if there is any preferential dividend. Yes, we have preferential share capital 5 lakhs. No, so 10 percentage on 5 lakhs, 50,000. That is preferential dividend. Subtract that amount from current year net profit after tax and see to it that if there is any dividend declared to equity shares. Yes, we have 2,20,000. No, subtract this amount. Then you will be getting retained earnings. Okay, and then divided by net profit after tax and preferential dividend into 100. See the calculation. Retained earnings ratio is equal to retained earnings divided by net profit after tax and preferential dividend okay so what is retained earnings retained earnings means current year net profit after tax minus preferential dividend and equity dividend if any okay so if the company decided to declare any preferential and equity dividend that has to be subtracted from the current year profit then the balancing figure is called retained earnings okay so current year profit after tax how much 5,20,000 minus in this problem we have preferential share capital no for that we have to pay 10% preferential dividend on 5 lakhs 50,000 rupees plus equity dividend also given in the adjustment how much 2,20,000 so what is the total 2,70,000 okay so this is the dividend declared from the current year profit that to after tax okay so 5,20 minus 2,70 you will be getting 2,50,000. So, this is the current year retained earnings of the company. Okay. Now, this amount also belongs to equity shareholder only. But we have to find out the ratio. Retained earnings ratio. So, we got the retained earnings divided by net profit after tax and preferential dividend. That is net profit available to equity shareholders. Okay. See here. Net profit after tax and preferential dividend calculation. So, current year profit after taxation 5,20,000 minus preferential dividend 50,000. This is the total profit that is after tax as well as after preferential dividend. This is the net profit belongs to equity shareholder. Okay. So, 4,70,000. Now, compare with retained earnings to find out the retained earnings ratio. Here, retained earnings ratio is equal to retained earnings okay after declaration of equity dividend this is the residual profit retained earnings 250000 divided by this is the total profit available to equity shareholders 470 into 100 53.2 percentage so this is retained earnings ratio for your information see the payout ratio 46.8 percentage okay retained earnings ratio 53.2 percentage if you add these two ratios you will be getting 100 percentage okay so that is the 100 percentage amount belongs to equity in that what is the proportion of payout 46.8 what is the retained 53.2 so you will be getting 100 percentage by adding these two formulas okay see the problem the next calculation is dividend yield ratio okay see the formula dividend yield ratio is equal to dividend per share divided by market price per share into 100 okay so dividend per share how to calculate dividend per share how much dividend declared to equity shareholders okay it is given in the problem 2 lakh 20000 no how many number of shareholders 1 lakh 50000 so 2 lakh 20 divided by 1 lakh 50 you will be getting dividend per share okay Market price per share, it is given in the problem. That is 40 rupees per share into 100. See the problem. In the adjustments, they have given dividend declared on equity shares 2,20,000. Okay. So, first we need to find out dividend per share. For that, just take the total dividend declared to equity shareholders divided by number of equity shares. See here, equity share capital 15 lakhs. No, each share price 10 rupees. So, 15 lakhs divided by 10 you will be getting number of equity shares that is 1,50,000. Okay. In this way, you can find out the dividend per share and market price. See, in the adjustments, they have given 
market price of equity shares 40 rupees. Now see the calculation. Dividend yield ratio is equal to dividend per share divided by market price per share into 100. Market price 40 rupees given in the adjustment. Okay. So we need to find out dividend per share. So what is the formula to find out dividend per share? Dividend declared to equity shareholders 2 lakh 20. It is given in the adjustment divided by number of equity shares. So how much equity share capital? 15 lakhs. No. So each share price 10 rupees. So 15 lakhs divided by 10, you will be getting number of equity shares 1 lakh 50,000. So the value is 1.47. This is the dividend per share. Now apply this value 1.47 divided by 40 into 100. 3.67 percentage okay see the problem the last one is interest cover ratio okay what is the formula see the formula interest cover ratio okay here the formula is profit before interest and tax that is ebit earnings before interest and tax okay this you can find out from the income statement which is given in the problem okay divided by fixed interest charges okay so, fixed interest charges, this you can find out from the liability side of balance sheet. Okay. See the problem. In the income statement, you can find the earnings before interest and tax. How much? 12 lakhs. Sales minus cost of goods sold is equal to EBIT. That is earnings before interest and tax. Okay. How much? 12 lakhs. Then, fixed interest charges. See the liability side. 10 percentage debentures on 16 lakhs. This is the total debenture for that the company has to pay 10 percentage on this value that is 1 lakh 60 thousand. Okay. Now see the calculation. Interest cover ratio is equal to profit before interest and tax. How much? 12 lakhs divided by fixed interest charges that is a, a 10 percentage on debentures. 16 lakhs. No. So 10 percentage on 16 lakhs 1 lakh 60 thousand interest. This is the fixed interest charges. So, what is the answer? 7.5 times. Okay. See, in the ratio analysis, so far we have completed profitability ratios in three different videos. In the upcoming series, we are going to learn turnover ratios and solvency ratios. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.